Vancouver International Airport is a very public place, but that didn't stop the guns from coming out on Sunday afternoon. A known gangster was killed. This generation of gangsters is taking things to another level, which is having no regard whatsoever with community safety. There's gunshots. The police tried to pursue the suspected murderers, but they got aggressive and fired at officers. Then, in what's become a typical scene, the getaway vehicle was torched. Police believe 28-year-old Carmen Gadewal, a member of the United Nations gang with a criminal record, was killed in retaliation for the death of another gangster. These gang conflicts have continued. Uh, there's been more and more uh, groups being formed, which has resulted in more conflict. In the Vancouver area, three gangs dominate. The United Nations, the Brothers Keepers, and the Red Scorpions. But allegiances constantly change and new criminal organizations are formed. According to BC's anti-gang police unit, they all have one goal. These individuals, make no mistake about it, are vying for control of the drug trade. That turf war has led to a rise in shootings in the past two weeks. On Saturday, outside a shop with surveillance cameras, a gunman shot and killed a 19-year-old with gang ties. Another person who just happened to be in the area also took a bullet, but survived. A week earlier, a corrections officer, Bikram Deep Randawa, was gunned down outside a mall. But that's a mystery because he isn't affiliated with any criminals. We're at a crisis point right now, and unfortunately, uh, and I hope my predictions don't come to reality that there's other innocent people that are going to be caught in this crossfire. It's obvious these criminals have no concern for public safety. The shooting at Vancouver Airport was a blatantly violent act for anyone to witness. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.